Kenny, um, Alan Stubbs has been speaking in advance of this game, of course, and has said that he thinks Rangers' attitude towards Hibernian has changed perhaps recently, they're taking more notice of them now. Is that a fair assessment? No, I wouldn't say so. No, we are, again, we are always focused on us. I mean, we've got a lot of respect for Alan and the, and the way the way Hibs play, and it's been all credit to them that they've, they've put a fantastic run of results together. But for us, it's a, an opportunity to go and win another game of football in front of our own fans. Full house at Ibrox that will be expected to win, so nothing changes for us in that respect. With them now breathing down your neck, so so close between the two teams, do they become a bigger concern and does it put a bigger focus on this game in particular? Well, I think maybe on the outside it puts a bigger focus on this game, but for for me, for, for us as a team, it's uh, it's another game. I mean, again, whether we win, lose or draw on, on Monday, nothing's going to be decided on, on Monday in terms of who's going to win the league. So uh, it's a big game, a game everybody's looking forward to, but it's a, it's a chance for us to put a little bit of daylight between us and Hibs. You've been involved in tight title races here before. What's your advice in terms of seeing them out, in terms of handling them? What have you said to your teammates in terms of dealing with this? Well, I think I think it's important that, obviously, off the back of the, of the two poor results that we've had, that we first we get back to winning ways. But it is important, again, to stress, like I said, there's nothing, nothing's going to be decided in the outcome of this game. Yeah, it'll either give Hibs an advantage It'll give us an advantage, or it'll be exact same standing as what it was before we kicked off. So it's uh, it's important we don't look, get low, like too low about the about the recent results and get back to what we're doing well, improve on on things we need to improve on. And and again, ultimately, it's a game we we're playing in front of our own fans that we'll be expected to win. So let's try and get back to winning ways. Huge expectation for you to win and to get promoted this year. At any point. When things get tighter, does that become a hindrance that you are expected to win? You're expected to be champions. People expect to see Rangers back. In- I, I don't think so. Again, I mean, we're a, we're a new team, so even even though the lads are five six months into their into their Rangers careers, I think they still might not appreciate fully the the expectation and the and the demands that are put on us, which can work in our favour in that respect. So, it's uh, yeah. Listen, we're always going to be under pressure to win games and, and definitely win this league. So it's not any different for, for lads that have been involved. We're, we're relishing it, we're loving the time we're having together. I mean, also, we're in early, we're in early stages, this Rangers team. It's uh, a real opportunity for us this season to put a bit of silverware to that team, both the Petrofac Cup, but potentially to win the league. We're still in the Scottish Cup, so we've still got a lot of things to fight for, and it'd be great if we can have some success this early as a new team. Kenny, why do you think Rangers have dropped 10 points since that game at Easter Road? Well, there's a lot of reasons behind it, a lot of reasons we've been looking at. Uh, one, we've probably not been playing as well. Two, teams have been making it a lot harder for us. We've been conceding more goals than what we were. We've not been scoring as many as we were. So you, you, when you factor all that into it, it's, uh, I mean, Big Davey said after the game on, on Saturday, when you lose two goals in any game, it's always going to be tough to win a game of football, which we've seen in the last two games. We've conceded both two at home against Morton, two away against Falkirk. So it was always going to be an uphill struggle, particularly when you're giving them teams a lead to hang on to. So uh, there are things that we've looked at and hopefully we can improve on and, and make sure don't happen in the in the up and coming weeks. There's a suggestion that perhaps uh, teams are now sussing out Rangers and perhaps the play is too one-dimensional, down the flanks, etc. What's your reaction to that? Again, I, I don't think it's, it's any... Any surprise to see teams changing the way they play against or trying to make things harder because again we faced that and any time I've been here at this club it's, it's always been that way. Teams are going to get a lot of men behind the ball, they're going to rely on set plays, counter attacks to try and to try and get goals against you. That's again that's nothing new. I still believe it's down to us. We need to we need to make sure we, we're doing what we do better. We need to move the ball quicker, we need to create more chances, or we need to find a way to break teams down, which again is, is nothing new for 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 any Rangers team, it's uh, we've maybe just been a little bit off it, and all the things that we've talked about already, we've just been a little bit off it maybe in recent weeks. So the accusation that Alan Stubbs makes that Rangers, and I put this in terms of your own uh, thoughts, are in denial about the current form. You would refute that? No, I wouldn't. I would listen. I'm, I'm not going to. As like I said before, I've got a lot of respect for Alan and the way he sets his team up and, he, and the way he's got him playing. It's no, there's no denial involved. What, what I mean, we, you can't deny the fact that we've drawn and we've lost because we've, we've drawn and we've lost. So there's no denial. We need to make sure we're, we're constantly looking at that. Did we deserve to lose both games? Probably not. Did we deserve to win both games? Probably not. So there's no denial. We're, on, we need, we're just looking at them 
that's in the facts are there in terms of the results. We're looking at the games and how we can improve from this game and make sure that the same things that happen don't happen in this game. You say that the one this this game next week won't determine where the championship goes, but if you were to win next week, how much do you think that could derail Hibs momentum because they're the form team in the country, aren't they? Well, listen, it would be as I mean, I think if you've you hit the nail on the head, you're one of the first questions you ask, like, why have we dropped that amount of points since that first, that, that first, that last Hibs game, it was the first points dropped all season. So when you have a, a negative result, it can have that kind of effect on a team as much as you, you don't want to believe it or you, but I mean, the facts are there. If we can, if we can put, stop this fantastic run that they're on and we can put that little bit of daylight between us, hopefully again, that can serve as a real, a real boost for us as well and we can go on a run that we were on at the start of the season which is when we won 10 11 first 10 11 league games of the season if we can win that stop them in their tracks and then kick on ourselves then it goes a long way to helping us be successful this year can it have an impact on hibs the way that defeat since easter road has had on you guys well it could do like i said there's no reason why it can't it's uh again but again what happens for hibs again i've said all along is we can't control that. What we can control is when we have, we go out on Monday, we go in the weeks after that, that we can go and if we win our games of football, then we'll win the league. And that's all we can control. So we don't really focus too much on what the result will do to have. It's more what it can do for us. Okay, what do you think of Anselm's motivation is that he continually makes small comments here and there about Rangers? I don't know, you'd have to ask Alan. It's, uh, like I said, I don't... I try not to look too much into it. Like, I don't really believe in like, the psychological games and things. Like I say, I keep saying it's... On the risk of repeating myself, it's, a, it's another game of football on Monday for us to go and win, and it's a game we'll be expected to win, and we'll be approaching it in that manner. The manager's often quite talk about respect. Is it disrespectful for him to continue talking about your side, your team? No, like I said, like everybody's got their own ways of approaching games to try and motivate, whether it be himself or his team. Uh, we've got our own ways, and I try, try not to focus on what another team's going to do or what they're not doing. And, and focus on my team and see what how we're going to play and how we can get better and how we can approach this game and make sure we win. You've played in a lot of, a lot of big games for this club. How does Mondays compare? Is it you know a mini old fun game? Could you sort of describe it in those sort of terms? Not really, because it's Rangers Hibs and no Rangers Celtic, so it's a, it's a big game and the and the and the with the time it's coming at it where where both teams stand at the moment in terms of league positions, it's always going to be built as a big game, but it's. Uh, the manager would only have it one way for us. It's, it's focusing on the, on what we can control, which is us going out performing at home in front of our own fans, which will be, I'm told, it's going to be a sellout, which will be a fantastic atmosphere to play in at this time of year. So uh, we're really looking forward to the game and just hoping we need to make sure we go and get the result and get, and get back to winning ways after this after this little Ronnie Poole results. When I say a, a manual fun game, I mean, you know, in terms of it's two teams top of league, go for the title. I know that, 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 that yeah, I suppose as well between the teams. And I appreciate, I appreciate what you're getting at, and yet it is. It's going to be a big game, and I'm sure the fans are looking forward to it as much as we are. Uh, but again, with coming back to it, we'll be looking to go into the game, do everything right this week, which is important after after two uh, poor results, to make sure we get right back on it this week, do the right things, and uh, make sure we get back to winning ways on Monday. How much is the manager looking to the likes of yourself, Kenny, and other experienced players to guide the younger guys through? You know the. the Really yeah, he does. He, he does put a little bit of responsibility on you, but he does. He asks a lot of. Again, you know, I keep saying this all the time. Any time after games, he's, he's looking for feedback from the players, not just the experienced players, from the younger lads in the team as well. Because it's about them learning. It's about them growing as well, which is, is is really big on. So it's not just the same two or three voices that you hear every every week after a game or in training. It's there is a a real need and, and a demand from the manager that he puts on us as a team to like work out things, work out the uh, solutions for ourselves, communicate with each other to help each other and make each other better. So, yeah, so it's not just myself or Lee Wallace or Dean Shields are talking. There is a, a lot of communicating goes on in that dressing room. Kenny, okay, Hibs have got this reputation right there wrongly when it comes to big events, Scottish Cup finals, playoff matches, top of league encounters, that they choke on the big occasion. Is that hard to get rid of that tag and could that still be playing on players' minds that weren't involved in previous games with the club? To be honest, again, that's that's on them. I mean, again, we we could we. I look at the games we played against last 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 year, and which are again just as big games or two games at Ibrox games East the road where they beat us. So you look at that. So they never choked on their days. For us, the playoff game again, we, we were coming into that maybe in a little bit in a better in, in better spirits of what we were in, in in previous games last year. But uh, this is a completely different Rangers team. It's a different 
management team, uh, different mentality going into these games, different form going into these games. So it's uh, for us again, whether Hibs are scared of a big occasion or not. For me, that's not to say we can only we can only control how we play and how we prepare, and, and that's what we're doing all week. You've know, been in squads up with twenty six players, no doubt, over your, your your time here. Is this squad rather lean? And does it need a bit of help? Well, I've seen that the manager says there's maybe potential for a couple of signings in, in January. Will, will that help us? Of course it will. It'll, uh, it brings more competition for the places that maybe we've not got competition for in the in the team at the moment. It does, like you say, beef it up a little bit and give us a lot, a few more options. And I mean, again, with a few injuries, which we've seen in the last kind of couple of months where we've had a couple of injuries, everybody that's available is kind of involved. So a, like new signings at any stage are always, are always important. And for us at the moment, do we need them? Again, that's not for me to say. The manager will work that out himself. Uh, he's good enough at what he does to, to see what we need and assess what we need in the squad. But new faces are always welcome. It freshens things up and it, it keeps people on their toes. How's Martin responded after the penalty save at the weekend? To be honest, he's been, he's been fine. Again, I'm sure it's not the first. And I'll, I'll not be the last penalty I'll miss. And again, it was a, I thought it was a great save. I've, I've watched it back. It was a really good save. Uh, yeah, we're expected to score penalties and with the nature of the game and the result, it was, it was a big a big opportunity for us to maybe get some from that game, but it's uh, no, he's been fine. I'm sure if we get another one on on Monday, he'll step up and, and put it away. He's been the type of guy this season when he has missed chances, he's never really looked like it's he's allowed to get to him too much. He's always sort of responded in the right way. Well, I think he, I think he appreciates in the in the team at the moment. He, other chances will come up and he'll have a chance to rectify it. I mean, you look at the, the Queen of the South game when he missed the penalty at the end. Within two minutes, he scored the winning header. So uh, that's the kind of response you're looking for. And, Obviously, we just never had time for that kind of response on Saturday. So, no, he's been fine. Uh, obviously, the level of goal he scored for the team this year to, I think he's got 20 so far this season, is uh, a great return for a lad coming into, the, into a new club. So, uh, no, he's been fine. I'm sure, as I said, I'm sure if we get an Arbonne, he'll, he'll step up and put it away on Monday.